वी आर बैक विथ सीजन टू ऑफ जे फ्लेक्स तैयारी जीत की Albert Einstein once said not everything that can be counted counts and not everything that counts can be counted true isn't it while you can count the number of last days left for jay main you cannot keep a count on your doubts you know why because they are endless here to all my future engineers welcome to second episode of jay flex season 2 tayari jeet ki i'm sashi prabha your proud mentor and also mathematics faculty at akash digital my dear students and viewers due to this unprecedented situation because of covid-19 and with this disease continuing to spread more and more we are all positioned at home today and not in our studios as we usually do following the strict guidelines of the authorities and government to maintain social distancing and avoid gatherings we bring jay flex episode 2 from safety of our homes i know my students that time is really tough outside and our preparation has come to a halt But तो क्या हुआ? Who said J Maths cannot be aced from home, especially when you have subject matter expert himself to guide you? Yes, let's all welcome our very own National Academic Director, Mr. Vivek Bhatt. Vivek sir gets an experience of more than 20 years in field of maths. Today he is here to ease the burden of doubts for all you J aspirants who are stuck in. Hello sir, welcome to J Flix episode two. Hi everyone. Hello Shashi ma'am. Thanks for calling me on this show. It's actually my pleasure that I'm part of this very informative series called J Flex. This is really really good to see that I am able to connect with my students before they go for JE main examination and I would be able to answer few of their queries. I'm really delighted with this thought. All right sir. Welcome to the show again. Now firstly I want to ask the question What are the safety formulas you are applying to deal with this pandemic in your daily life? Well, uh, this is such a situation which we have never ever faced in past, and definitely everyone is going through a different phase. क्योंकि ऐसा कभी किसी ने सोचा भी नहीं था और ना कभी ऐसा फेस किया है. But I am sure we are going to win over this situation very soon. Yes, we have to be careful. We have to be cautious. It is important that everyone should follow. guidelines given by government of india and different authorities like you already know social distancing use of mask using sanitizers zaruri hai in sab cheezon ka bahut khayal rakhna not touching your face again and again because it's important when you go with these things definitely we are going to win over the situation so simply please remember nothing to worry about what you need to do is focus on your goal focus on your studies and as you said shashi ma'am learning never stops at akash yes we are here to guide you at this time rightly said sir so students aapko focus karna hai apni studies pe and remember difficult times don't last long sir another important question can you briefly give us highlights of jee main january exam for our students sure as you know that the pattern of january 2020 was different from that of pattern of 2019 there were two changes basically one number of questions two pattern change meaning previously there used to be 30 questions in each subject remembered now there were only 25 questions now out of those 25 questions what was the change 20 were straight objective type and five were numerical value type right now when you talk about numerical value type what was the case mostly इन न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू टाइप क्वेश्चंस में क्या था डेसिमल के दो डिजिट्स पहले डेसिमल के दो डिजिट्स बाद या फॉर एग्जांपल 28.18 ऑल्दो मोस्ट ऑफ आंसर्स वेयर इन इंटीजर फॉर्म बट एज पर द पैटर्न इट वाज द केस करेक्ट ऑल राइट लेट्स टेक सम मोर कॉमन डाउट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच दे आर डीलिंग विद and in continue to do numerical value type questions what's approach sir student should maintain in cracking these numerical based questions 
Sure. See, when you talk about the questions like MCQ or numerical value type, basically, the important thing is that you should know the approach to crack the question. This is important and required for any kind of question, whether it is MCQ or numerical value, or even you talk about the subjective type question, isn't it? So, if we compare MCQ or numerical value mein comparison, then there is a difference. MCQ के अंदर आपके पास choice होती है that you can eliminate answers as well options as well sometimes but in integer type this is not the case इसका मतलब क्या हुआ subjective questions पर भी focus करने की जरूरत है ताकि आप right time पर उस question को crack कर सकें और उसके सही answer तक पहुंच सकें so this is very much required for numerical value type questions but take care when you try subjective questions those should not be lengthy type, should be conceptual. Right, sir. Sir, many children ask this question that uh, how we can decode JE main pattern killer questions? Yeah, that's a pretty tricky one. I must say, if you have to pattern ko hai, aur is baat ko hai ki hume maths mein acha karne ke liye, to excel in maths, what should be the approach? I will say you can divide it in broadly into three categories. One, you can plan to decode class wise second unit wise third difficulty wise okay so class wise you mean division of the topic should be 11th and 12th separately right absolutely correct absolutely correct 11th and 12th see when you talk about the je main generally kya hota hai ki 11th ka syllabus is a bit more than that of 12th but when the questions of JE main are being considered. I will say 11th or 12th roughly equal weightage per hi hote hain. Ho sakta hai thura sa 12th ka weightage aapko jada hi dikhai de. And also students have done 12th recently to bhoat aasaan bhi rehta hai unke liye us cheez ko recap karna. If I consider January 2020 pattern taking all six papers together, that means 150 questions of mathematics in JE main 2020 edition. So, wahan par mujhe dikhai deta hai ki roughly 51% questions were from 12th and 49% questions were from 11th. So, you can see it's roughly 50-50. Yes, that's interesting. When you say topic wise, then how it could be distributed? Correct. That's another important segment. And in fact, if you are doing the preparation of your questions, you have to topic-wise analysis. In general, when you talk about J-Main and J-Advanced, J-Main mostly has algebra as upper hand, while in J-Advanced, calculus used to have upper hand. But when you look at January 2020 edition, here there was a little change in the equation, and calculus had upper hand. You can see the distribution over here. Calculus, roughly 34% questions were there, while in algebra, some 29% were there. So what we can observe here, these two topics taken together definitely have upper hand. Okay, so that's very useful to see the weightage of calculus and algebra is maximum. So we can clearly say that 63%, nearly 63% calculus or algebra hai. And what about those small topics like mathematical reasoning, binary operations and stats? This is something very important. I will say here you have to understand your nerves and this is actually the difference when you have host of maths subject. Because if you are maths faculty, then you also understand that the topics of weightage, small and small topics, how to tackle them so that you can get upper hand. Definitely, when you talk about mathematical reasoning, binary operations, statistics, chote chote se topics hain, just give half an hour and definitely you will be able to crack that single question being asked in examination. Now, when you talk about these three topics, har saal, har shift mein aapko e question inka zaroor milega. So definitely, just give half an hour and crack that single question of these topics. I'm sure this is going to give you upper hand. So it's quite clear students, now you have to majorly focus on calculus and algebra. Pe. And don't forget, if you prepare reasoning, probability, binary operations, stats, which you have to allot a very little time, allot karna hoga, but you are definitely going to get good returns there. Okay, so moving forward, my next question which many students have asked, what is the minimum marks required to qualify JE main in maths portion? 
uh, well when you talk about J main examination cutoff. See, subject wise, कोई cutoff की बात नहीं होती. It's the cumulative one which you need to focus upon. But still, मैं suggest यही करूँगा कि lower boundary की तरफ बिल्कुल मत देखो. Always aim for the highest point. तभी आपका success rate guaranteed होगा. आपको अच्छी सीट गारंटी मिलेगी बट स्टिल अगर आप बात करें ओवरऑल मार्क्स कितने मिनिमम सोचने चाहिए सो आई विल से प्लान फॉर 60 परसेंट डेफिनेटली चांसेस आर वेरी हाई दैट यू विल गेट अ गुड सीट इन गुड कॉलेज सो स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड ऑलवेज फोकस फॉर द मैक्सिमम हमेशा हायर एंड पे फोकस करिए बट यू ऑल्सो नीड टू थिंक दैट सिक्सटी परसेंट मार्क्स तो लाने ही लाने सो अनदर क्वेश्चन वुड बी हाउ टू कंप्लीट सिलेबस ऑफ मैथ्स इन रिमेनिंग डेज that students are asking in these days well i will say uh, students ne ek saal ya do saal ki preparation ki hai so it's not like they have to complete the syllabus in just 15 days or whatever time left with us so i must say yes they have to revise as you mentioned clearly revision kis tarah se kare so i'm sure that in last two months time jab ki ye lockdown phase raha hai the students must have gone through different mock test papers and yes that's the right key and they need to go through in the same manner with the more and more mock test papers even during this period because this is important to ensure that momentum bane rehna chahiye kyunki agar momentum mein kahi kami aayi to cheeze gadbad ho jayengi all right students so you should practice on the mock test on daily basis and quite religiously you have to do that practice टाइमिंग प्रॉपर तीन घंटे के रखिए प्रॉपर टाइम के साथ ऑनलाइन टेस्ट की प्रैक्टिस करें सो दैट यू हैव द रियल टाइम सिमुलेशन ऑफ जेई मेन एग्जाम सर नेक्स्ट आई वांट टू आस्क प्लीज शेयर सम ऑफ योर मास्टर टिप्स टू क्रैक जेई मेन मैथमेटिक्स फॉर माय स्टूडेंट ओके सो आई मस्ट से जो मैं हमेशा अपने स्टूडेंट से कहता रहता हूँ इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ टू अप्रोच फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक क्योंकि जरूरी है ये समझना कि एल्जेब्रा कैलकुलस कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री सब के लिए कुछ ना कुछ अलग तरीका होता है हर क्वेश्चन को टैकल करने का से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन यू टॉक अबाउट कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री तो उसमें आपको क्या करने की जरूरत है क्वेश्चन को ढंग से पढ़ो समझो छोटे छोटे स्टेटमेंट्स में ब्रेक करो वंस यू ब्रेक इन टू स्मॉल स्टेटमेंट्स यू वुड बी एबल टू ड्रॉ फिगर फ्रॉम देयर क्योंकि टू डी ज्योमेट्री के लिए फिगर काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है लोकस बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस होंगे तो वहां फिगर से कई बार डायरेक्ट कंक्लूड हो जाते हैं क्वेश्चंस की भी जरूरत नहीं पड़ती बट अदरवाइज वॉट यू नीड टू डू वंस यू हैव ड्रॉन द फिगर ड्रॉ द इक्वेश गेट द रिजल्ट रिक्वायर्ड सो दिस इज समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री अब अगर आप एल्जेब्रा की बात करो तो वहां फिगर नहीं है वहां क्या करना है आपका स्टेटमेंट डायरेक्ट इक्वेशंस कंक्लूड कराता है गेट दो इक्वेशंस अंडरस्टैंड दो इक्वेशंस एंड ट्राई टू गेट द सॉल्यूशन फ्रॉम देयर मूविंग टू द थर्ड पार्ट कैलकुलस यहां कुछ और ही कहानी है दोनों चीजें मिक्स होंगी ग्राफ चाहिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है फॉर एल सी डी दैट इज लिमिट कॉन्टिन्यूटी डिफ्रेंशियबिलिटी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव इन टॉपिक्स के लिए वंस यू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ हो सकता है डिफरेंशियबिलिटी का क्वेश्चन है आप सीधे ग्राफ से कंक्लूड कर लो हाउ मेनी पॉइंट्स ऑफ नॉन डिफरेंशियबिलिटी आर देयर हाउ मेनी पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिसकॉन्टिन्यूटी आर देयर सीधे कंक्लूजन आ जाएगा कई बार आपको एनालिटिकल अप्रोच भी लगानी पड़ेगी सो व्हाट यू नीड हियर अ मिक्स ऑफ द टू थिंग्स दैट इज ग्राफिकल अप्रोच एज वेल एज एनालिटिकल अप्रोच दिस इज प्रीटी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर कैलकुलस पार्ट और जहां तक गेई मेन की बात है बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वेश्चंस नहीं होंगे छोटी सी कॉन्सेप्ट इन्वॉल्व होगी उसको ध्यान से क्रैक करो यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट द सॉल्यूशन, यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट द आंसर तो दिस इज समथिंग अबाउट कैलकुलस सिमिलरली आप अगले टॉपिक की बात करें यानी अगर आप बात करें वैक्टर थ्री की यहां पर क्या समझना होगा कि थ्री का क्वेश्चन है टेक इट टूवर्ड्स वैक्टर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर कोई मुझसे कहता है प्लेन की क्वेश्चन चाहिए सबसे पहले मेरे गांव में क्या क्लिक करता है आई नीड अ पॉइंट एंड अ नॉर्मल वेक्टर सो फ्रॉम थ्री डी आर आई मूविंग टूवर्ड्स वेक्टर वहां जो मैंने इन चीजों को रिलेट किया मेरा आंसर बहुत जल्दी आएगा तो इन छोटे छोटे पॉइंट्स का ध्यान दो मॉक टेस्ट के दौरान भी और रिवीजन के दौरान भी आई एम वेरी श्योर आप इस चीज से विन ओवर कर ही जाएंगे you have another possibility for revision that is you can go through fast track recorded videos jo itutor ke available hote hain aakash par roughly 12 to 20 hours ka per subject ka video hai jo aapko fatafat ready revision dekhne ko help karega aapko ye batayega ki aapki 
स्ट्रेटजी में आपकी प्लानिंग में चीजें कहाँ पहुंची हैं आई एम श्योर दैट इज ऑल्सो इक्वली हेल्पफुल थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर योर वैल्यूबल आंसर आई एम श्योर दिस विल हेल्प यू ऑल टू अटेंड मैथ्स विथ ईज नाउ With this, we come to end of episode two of J Flix season two. I hope today we guided you well in this tough journey of attempting maths, and we hope you shine in J 2020. So please share some final words of wisdom for our students. Thank you so much, and I will say all the best to everyone. Keep preparing, keep focusing on your goal. Forget about external world. Just focus on your studies. I'm sure you are going to win over this situation. all the best okay friends let's meet next week with another interesting episode and subject matter expert who will help you overcome your doubts sitting at home stay tuned next thursday this is your mentor signing off bye bye